As we can see, the bracket is mounted on a tripod, the lens inserted and locked by the two knobs on top of the unit. The regulation of tilt and shift movements remains possible thanks to the jumbo brackets design, and two spirit levels are incorporated to ensure the correct alignment of the lens. With this system, the lens remains locked in place, so all tilt and shift movements will displace the camera body and not the lens. As we'll see, this offers an advantage when stitching images together to create larger files. After having mounted the bracket on a sturdy tripod, we start with framing the image. A shot is made with a colour checker to ensure correct white balance. Then we adjust the tilt to create the effect we want. We can either increase the depth of field or reduce it for creative reasons. Here is the photograph without any tilt applied. Here it is with tilt applied to increase the depth of field. And finally with the opposite tilt to reduce the depth of field. In this series we can see how the bracket affects the camera's movements. Without the bracket we move the lens and not the camera. With the jumbo bracket in place the lens remains still and the camera body moves. On the screen we won't notice any difference, but when stitching the images together we'll obtain different results. In the images made with the bracket, the three photographs are joined without any errors, while in those made without the bracket we find that some parts of the image are disjointed.